Chapman from Glitter and Third, and I'm going to demonstrate how to upload um, any of my Google Classroom products onto your own Google Classroom. So first, after you make your purchase, this time we're going to do nonfiction text features. Go ahead and download now and open up your PDF. So again, you'll be receiving a PDF, um, and what this includes is a teacher guide. It includes the link of how to put Google or this product onto your Google Classroom. Um, it does contain all the slides that you're going to get. And let's see. finally, it includes an answer key. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, um, it'll have the answer key, which is always nice. Um, so anyway, you're going to scroll down to put it on Google for the students, and it'll say click this link. So you want to click that. And it says, would you like to make a copy? So you'll go ahead and make a copy. So what this does is it takes um, the resource and it puts it onto your Google Drive. All right, so you'll see everything is now here. Um, includes all those great you know, drag and drop features, um, text boxes. So now you have it on your drive, that's great. We're gonna put it onto your Google Classroom. So hop over to your Google Classroom. It'll look something like this. And you're gonna come up to Classwork. So click Classwork, and then you're going to click Create, and go down to Assignments. Now, title, say Nonfiction Text Features, because that's what the students will be working on. And we'll say, please complete slides, let's say, two to four by Monday. Great. So uh, then you can go ahead, and if you want to put in a due date, you can put that over here. Um, topic, so if you had you know, a different subject area and you want to categorize everything, points, and so on. So we did that. Now I want to say add because we want to add the product. So you'll say insert files using Google Drive. Go ahead and click on that copy that we just made. Now over here it says, what are students going to do? Can they view the file? Can they edit it? Or can they make a copy? You want to click make a copy for each student. If you click view, they will not be able to do the drag and drop features. Or short answers they can just look at it if you do edit file all the students will be editing the exact same um, file so if you're doing some kind of group assignment that would be fine but I wouldn't recommend that um, for most of the different resources and then finally we have make a copy for each student so if you do that not only can they edit it but it will be their own copy that they have um, and they will not be working on it as a group it'll be all individual and then you will click assign And it may take a minute. <laughs> there we go. So down here, you now have it and just got sent out to all of your students, um, each to have their own copy. So congratulations, you did it.